my name is Tom McDonald. I'm the Director of Student Operations for Dublin City Schools. I'm proud to be here with you today for this Staff Safety Day. We believe that staff and student safety is the most important thing that we do within our district. Everything else that we do in this wonderful district depends on having a safe culture and climate within our schools. See something, say something has been something that we have talked about in our buildings for a long time. Uh, and over the course of the next several weeks, you'll get to hear from a number of our staff members who believe that safety is at the core of what they do. The first person that you're gonna meet in this series is Chuck Collier. Chuck is our coordinator of safety and security. Chuck's full-time responsibility is working on the safety and security of our students and staff. Proud to have Chuck as part of the team and looking forward to introducing him to all of you. Thanks, Tom. My name is Chuck Collier. I am the safety and security coordinator for Dublin Schools. I've been in this role since late of 2019. Prior to that, I was a police officer with Dublin Police Department, serving as a school resource officer at Jerome High School. So I've been in the schools for a while. I've had kids come up through the schools. So obviously, like Tom said, safety and security is first and foremost, in my mind, it's first and foremost in your mind, or it should be. Without having that safe and secure environment, our kids can't learn safely, they can't learn comfortably, and they can't do what they're supposed to be doing in the classrooms. So as the series goes on, you're going to hear from a lot of different roles in our district. Again, my role is primarily safety and security, but just because that's what my role is doesn't mean your role, whether it's custodian, whether it's a bus driver, whether it's a teacher, staff member, whether it's mom or dad at home, your role is to make sure that we keep everybody safe. We can't do this alone. I certainly can't do it alone. I couldn't do it alone when I was a police officer. We required and we needed help from the citizens to give us information to help us keep everybody safe. See something, say something, like Tom mentioned, is very important. It doesn't matter how trivial you think it is. If you see something that gives you the heebie-jeebies, let somebody know. Um, if you look at the history of school violence, most of those cases, those people who have committed those acts have leaked some information out and given it to friends, to family members, somewhere, and those people just hesitated to get that information to the authorities. Please don't hesitate to get that information, if you come across it, to somebody who can act on it. So let's talk for a minute about how See Something, Say Something works. So we have our buildings, um, our school district's hotline, um, it's on the website, it's on your school's website. You can call the building directly, you can submit emails. Any of those ways that get that information about something that gives you the willies that you want to be investigated or to at least be aware of or looked at. So when we as a district get that information, we don't just hold that in-house. If it's of a serious nature, we certainly share it with Dublin Police, Columbus Police, Union County, Delaware County Sheriffs, whoever it might be. Um, to help us vet those threats to determine whether or not they're credible. So if we deem a threat credible, then we certainly take action through our local law enforcement partners, potentially the JTTF, Joint Terrorism Task Force, FBI, whoever needs to get involved, we will get involved. Um, and we will certainly use our social media, our media relations team to get that message out to everybody it needs to go to. So once we make all those notifications, then our teams would then assemble their are in-house threat assessment teams. A threat assessment team is just a group of individuals from building level to law enforcement, to counselors, to anybody who has relevant information about that subject to determine whether or not that kid or that subject is on that pathway to violence and how can we interact with him or her to get them off of that pathway to violence. Most of you have had some sort of threat assessment training throughout the years. Um, I know we've hosted it here at the Dublin School District, so you should have a little bit of knowledge of what a threat assessment does and what it's supposed to do and how it works. If you have any questions about how the threat assessment works, reach out to your building administrator, reach out to me directly, um, and we will get you some information about how those processes work. Another way that we keep our building safe is by doing the state mandated safety drills. Um, you all know that this year we switched over to the standard response protocol terminology 
it's the same type of responses, it just changed the verbiage a little bit so we're universal across the board. It doesn't matter what building you're in, in what part of the district, you're gonna have the same words meaning the same thing. Um, it helps with our traveling teachers, it helps with you know, promotions, moves from building to building, it doesn't matter what building in Dublin City Schools you're gonna be in, these terms are gonna be universal from building to building. Um, these are the terms that you would hear for, there's an incident outside, so we're gonna call secure over the PA. We're gonna get everybody into the building, lock the building down, but building stays business as usual because the threat or potential threat is outside. If that transfers into an internal threat, then we're talking about things like lockdown, um, lockdown barricade. Um, all of these things are available to us for our day-to-day -day activities. And like I said, the state mandates that we do three drills a year with kids to make sure that they're aware of what these terms mean, what these terms require us to do as well. Just a couple other things I wanna highlight um, as part of our overall safety and security plan. Um, Amanda Spring and her award-winning wellness program, she and I teach CPR and first aid throughout the district at no cost through the wellness program. The more staff that we can get certified and trained in how to provide life-saving skills is better for all of us. It helps make our buildings the safest that we can be. Um, we're gonna be upgrading some cameras. Um, we all know that we have cameras in our buildings. Some of them are just old, we're gonna upgrade those. Uh, we're adding access control that you're all aware of, meaning your badge will get you in to any door in your building. Um, these are things that are in progress now. They're just taking a little time to get fully functional. Um, but again, everything we do is for the overall safety and security of our buildings individually and our district as a whole. Thanks, Chuck, for that overview of safety and security in Dublin City Schools. When we started this project, we started with the theme of safety and security is everyone's responsibility. Where that led us to was to interview various people within our organization who had different roles. And what we found is that people were passionate about the safety and security of our students and our staff. What was interesting was that most people didn't even think that safety and security was necessarily a part of what they did, but when they went through what they did throughout the course of their day and their role within the organization, they were so passionate about keeping our students and staff safe that their stories became a very uh, integral part of where we want to go with the future of this series. We want to talk to the employees of Dublin City Schools and to see how safety and security is a part of everyone's responsibility.